So we uh, made her out. It's uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, we come out in the bush here, and we're making our round, putting out Hayden's trap line. I'm just along for the ride, and uh, yeah, so we found some fresh Martin tracks because it just snowed, and we're gonna set up a box here, and then uh, make our way around and keep setting up boxes. North Mountain Adventures is brought to you by Athlon Optics, Wolverine Supplies, Gem Insurance, Bankart Marketing, ReproMap Graphic Design, CNC Rentals and Recreation, Dan Beaver Trapping Supplies, and these fine sponsors. Hey guys, now that deer season's over, we kept the scraps from our deer and we put them in a big barrel and filled it with water and froze it. And uh, we came out to our land here and we threw a piece out and we're gonna see if we can- Bait some coyotes. Bait some coyotes and catch some coyotes. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what we did, we just put it in a plastic container and then got it out of there so now they got they can't just eat it all in one night they got to chew at it and there's lots of brush around so that uh, my man my main man can set up snares we'll leave it a week or whatever four days and we'll come and check it yep so we got some baits out about a week ago and we're going to the bait that's been hit the most by the coyotes and we're gonna set some snares maybe even some footholds and bring a little bit more bait and check it in a day or two see what happens So we set this bait uh, about a week ago and uh, there was lots of coyote tracks and stuff but it snowed last night so there's not a ton but Hayden's got some more deer scraps so we're gonna throw them out and uh, he's gonna set some footholds and uh, see what we get. So we got the foothold and some stuff here, lures and whatever. And our bait is right here. And back over there, I'm going to set what is called a pee post set. So I'll put this along the willows there. Put some pee on the willows and then they'll come by, sniff it and they'll get caught in the trap. Have you ever caught anything in a foothold yet? Yes. What? Skunks and my dog ones. <laughs> so no coyotes, no foxes yet? Nope. This will be the first time, hopefully. Everything you've caught last year with me was all in snares, right? Power snares? Yep. 
So this is our first time trying a, an actual foothold. Yes. There we go. What's that for? It's so that if we get freezing rain, it just sticks to this and it doesn't freeze down to something. It, it's just a tissue. Now, we can... I freaked my pee's a little, it's fox pee. It's a little frozen. Let's see if I can get some out. Put a little bit of this lure, this hellfire lure way up on a branch. By the way, this pea is from Dan Beaver Trapping Supplies and it works really good. Everything likes it. What is it? It's hellfire long distance call smear. It smells really like skunk. Sticks and the wind will blow it back into the bush and coyotes, bring the coyotes in. So what happens is, is hopefully they come through here and then we'll put a couple guide sticks here just so that they don't go behind here or whatever. And they'll step right there, which is where the pan is and get caught. So we, uh left for Christmas and uh, we come back and Hayden has found something in his trap. So yeah, we're going for about a day and a half and we came back to our set here. One set is all it takes and we've already got a nice little coyote over there in our foothold. So he probably came around the bait circling it. I can see his tracks over there. Sniffed the, sniffed the pee and stepped in the trap and yeah, let's go check him out. Good start to the weekend. Tomorrow we're headed up to the family cabin to set a bunch of martin traps and hang out. But uh, look at this. Good job. So, just checked our foothold. We're, we just set a snare. We're going to set a couple more, but our foothold had a nice coyote in it. So, this one will probably be decent on the market. It's, it's not mangy. It looks a little scruffy because it's got burrs in it, so we'll have to take those out after. It's decently light, really soft. It's a nice coyote. So we uh, made her out. It's uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, we come out into the bush here and we're making our round, putting out Hayden's trap line. I'm just along for the ride and uh, yeah so we found some fresh martin tracks because it just snowed and we're gonna set up a box here and then uh, make our way around and keep setting up boxes. Lathan's tagging along. Yep he's my cousin. So what we're gonna do is is usually I put just a screw or a nail through the box into the tree so it's like you know hanging upside down but I brought some nails and whatever. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna put a little nail in there really quick and we're gonna hang it on the tree. It's gonna be, yeah, I'm what's gonna try it out. And what, what's the point of it? Uh, it's just quicker and easier because usually you're trying to fit your hand up inside the box, banging it onto the tree and it's just not ideal. So this should be quicker, hopefully. Okay. Let's try it. Yeah. We'll see. As long as it doesn't move around too much. Oh. <laughs> you want me to help? Oh, no. you got her. Okay. I was thinking like that. 
but it might not work. Why? Because it's out, it's hanging out. Uh, yeah. So, we might just have to put a nail in it anyways. <laughs> So what size of trap is that, Hayden? This is a 120 Belial. So it'll go in there like that. But before we do that, just get a measure with this. We'll put a fetch staple in right there and then it kind of keeps it off the ground-ish. That's good. Now we can just put the bait in. Right here. And you're using squirrel. Yeah, squirrel, yeah. Squirrel in there. Squirrel that he trapped or shot? I think, yeah, I shot that one. And then you just put that in there. And then we'll use damn beaver trapping supplies, Martin Obsession Lure. And we can just We're just obsessed it. with it, eh? Yeah. I, I'd say this is a good spot just because we found tracks. Yeah, it is. There's tracks all over the place. What do you think? Yeah. And they look pretty fresh because this it just snowed. There we go. Get a good chunk of that. Rub some right here. And then put the rest on top. And then you can get different brands of this other stuff. But it's a really skunky lure. Right here, I got this at Dan Beaver. Stuff right here. That. That's um, a set. That that's good. That uh, both of these, they'll smell it from the window blow, and they'll smell it from way back in the bush, and they'll uh, they'll come, and then the bait seals the deal. Then they're they're caught, and then you got you got fur. All right, let's go set another one. Yep. Good. Well, Hayden put his traps out yesterday, so we just come for a tour to put out some more and some bait and check the ones that he put out. And lo and behold. Yeah, we checked our third trap. We got a Martin. Look at that. That is a nice Martin. You see, he just came up the tree here to get the bait, went in the box, and he was caught. It was a very humane quick kill, right on the lungs there. It's a really nice dark one. He's like chocolate colored, so that's a good start. tracks right here. You can see them. And the fresh ones too, you can still be, see the pads inside of the track. So what I'm gonna do is here is I'm gonna anchor this with this wire around this tree right here. And then I'll put the ram sitting like this in the snow with the snare right here. About, you know, maybe this far off the ground right here with a chin stick, a couple sticks to make sure it doesn't go around and that'll be set. I can see you looking over to the, the other setter over there. I know, I'm making sure he's doing it right. Not trusting daddy over there. So how does this work, Aiden? If so, I'll take out of the snow here. So they go through the snare, obviously, and it fastens down on the neck, which doesn't 
hurt them at all in that moment. But when they pull on it, this little latch comes off, which then this big spring shoots this and tightens this till it can't tighten anymore. And they've got two um, clotted arteries here. And it just completely 60 seconds, not even. They're just out cold. It just puts them to sleep. So it's like somebody putting you in a chokehold, but it's way like a hundred times harder than it. Just and what about kinds of traps? With rams, it's I mean ram or it's a ram, so it's basically legal if it's a power ram. But with conor bears, there's legal brands, legal sizes. Um, so like for example, it's illegal to trap something small with a big trap or something big with a small trap because then it it. Uh, each size of trap suits the animal that's for to kill it humanely. So, okay, right there the is about perfect. Put a chin stick, a couple sticks here, and then it's good to go. So, last weekend we trapped at the cabin. Um, we set more traps, really, because all we did, we didn't really catch anything. So, uh, we're out again. Hey, just putting up another box. We got some permission on another guy's land and um, put some bait out here for coyotes so we're gonna we found some more martin tracks so we're gonna set up a box and then uh, go to the bait see if it's if there's any coyotes going to it and if there is we'll set up some more snares and then we'll hit the rest of the trap line and check uh i think we got how many boxes we got out hayden seven eight eight martin boxes something like that and some coyote snares so uh we'll check those out okay, got one Sweet. Yeah. Looks like a nice one. Huge. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sweet, buddy. Yeah. Got another one. Yeah, good. Perfect. Nice. So far fur. today, they're all really big ones. Yeah. Really nice big Martin. Hi guys, this is uh, one of the Martin that we caught on our trap line. So I got some tools here. I got a brush, knife, a. Uh, Thing for splitting the tail and thing for taking the tail off. So I'm gonna show you how to skin it. What I do is I start at the ankles here and I go up, down the leg. And then I go just below the butthole on the tail. And I go up. Now, there's this cut, and then there's a cut that goes like this in a V and comes up to this cut. So then, what you can do after that is put your thumb in around the leg, just like this, right here, and you can pull it right up the leg, cut it off, same on the other side, just like that. And grab it, grab it, and pull it down. Here is the the tail, the tail bone, right there. So I started off by splitting it a little bit, just like that. And then I take this and I put it on the small hole. The tail gripper. Tail puller. Puller. Yeah, and you put it on there. And it takes the skin right off the tail, like that. So then here's where the cool, easy part is. You can just hold it up. Get it started kind of nice and easy so you don't kind of get your guts open. Once you get past the start of the stomach there, Grab it, rip it down. 
pull it down to where these front legs are. Take your thumb through, pull it. Same on the other leg, thumb through. Pull it, you can just nick the skin right there on the end of the leg. And then just give it a pop. It comes right out. Pull it down to where the, the ears are. So, right here is an ear. Just cut it right off like that. Same on this side. But when you when once you get past the jaws and stuff, you'll skin it down to this squishy part on the end of the nose, the nose cartilage. This is just squishy stuff. Just cut it right off. You've got a uh, skin Martin like that. So we just scrape all the flesh off, put them on a board to dry out. And we'll have a nice Martin pelt. We're often praised for teaching Hayden to trap at such a young age. But the truth is, none of his trapping knowledge has been passed down to him. For an entire year, Hayden spent his free time watching endless videos and connected himself to a local mentor for asking the tough questions. His money was spent on traps and supplies and he convinced me that this was something I needed to help him do. Neighbors began to hear about the local trapper kid and he's now blessed to have a number of folks sending him all sorts of critters to skin. It's been quite a learning curve for me and we've had some fail forward moments along the way, but it makes me incredibly proud to let him be the teacher and watch him do it with such a passion and drive. Where I live, where I